an older brother uh, named Chris. He's like four years older than me, and he probably made every mistake he could growing up, man. Assaults, he used to just get into fights all the time, in and out of jail. When I got to like 10, 12, 13, seeing him, I didn't want that. And I remember my mom even telling me kind of like, hey, you know, we're kind of exhausting ourselves trying to take care of your brother, so you better stay straight. You know, obviously he, he was a little bit older when, you know, my parents divorced and, and he took it a little bit like tougher. A lot of a lot of stuff to get into that, you know, gets you in trouble, whether it's, you know, hanging out the wrong crowd, a lot of a lot of drugs in the area and stuff. And uh, I know I remember just, you know, my, my outlet was MMA, my outlet was training, that was like my drug coming up. Miles grew up in Hazel Park. Uh, it was right next to Detroit, so it, was, it wasn't the greatest area, but Miles was always into sports. He stayed out of trouble, so he didn't hang out with all the riffraff. I remember John owned a, the mechanic shop, John's Auto, on Nine Mile, and I used to go there after school, and you know I used to see him work from sun up to sundown, just trying to, to make a better life for us. And Miles came to work one summer with me at the shop. He took on really quick, but I knew it wasn't for him, I could tell. I think he would rather get blood on his hands than grease. OK, this is the, the Fury Wall. We got it set up in our basement here in Fenton. It's just pictures of Miles before and after his fight. He got a key to the city of Hazel Park and an award. Uh, we're really proud of that. This was actually probably one of the best moments of my life. That was the first, my first ever UFC win. And I still, I, I still say today that was like, like I could die a happy man after I got that first win. Hey, Miles. What's up, big guy? Man? How are you? All right, dude. Good to see you, bro. What's up, big guy? Every time I come back into town, I always make it a habit to click up with Don, first ever martial arts instructor, kind of the, the guy that took me under his wing and kind of got me started in, uh, in martial arts. He always you know, takes the time to make sure that uh, he gets some time on the mats with me every time he comes home, even though he's got a lot of people pulling him in a lot of different directions. You know, He's got a lot of family and stuff like that. He has a spark to him, you know, and he always has ever since he was a young kid. I'd say probably 13, 14 years old. He was beating adults easily in the gym, you know, but the moves he just learned the day before. It's like, Miles, you know, if you got really serious about this, want to learn everything and compete in jiu-jitsu and uh, eventually MMA, man, you can make it to the UFC. That hard work, that determination, that belief in himself, and that willingness to learn. Whatever it is, Miles has it. How you doing, my son? What's up, Dad? Every time I come home, I see my father. How them boats coming? Oh, fantastic. They're actually ne never really ending. You can see right here that this one right here is a. Uh, oh, yeah, this one's coming along nice. Kind of been sitting around for a little bit. When I get my downtime, I try to keep myself busy. I always want to try and put a, a day, of, day aside or to go get dinner or lunch or a movie or at least maybe stop by and have a beer. So usually after every fight. Oh, I miss him. I miss him tremendously. He went out to California, you know, with a couple buddies and stayed out there, and now he's. He's got this huge future ahead of him, and again, you know, I'll take out this smile. I, I can't be more proud of this boy right here and this young man. And uh, yeah, that's there that's we how go. we do it over <laughs> here, man. Yeah. Then when I graduated high school, this is where uh, me and my two best friends we actually lived for three years, fresh out of high school. And yeah, here it is now. You know, it isn't the best shape anymore. Kind of got let got let go. Nobody's been living here for a little bit. That's kind of how the area is. You know, a lot a lot of foreclosed houses and stuff. And this one went to when I moved out of this house and I went to go train with Jeremy Stevens out in San Diego. And I was like, I love it. I fell in love out there. And I was like, man, there's really nothing positive for me to come back to right now because I didn't have nowhere really to live. I was still training. I wanted to go to the UFC. So I was like, man, I, I'm just going to stay out in San Diego. And a year or two later, I kind of got rolling and got in the UFC. So it's probably the best decision I ever made. 